Hello and welcome back to another DG CAD training video using Revit 9. We're talking about details and detailing and currently in a drafting view down inside of here and I want to talk a little bit about formulas with detail components and I'm going to use my um, blocking uh, component family that I made in a previous lesson to demonstrate this so I'm going to go in I, what I want to do is I want to be able to have a formula that says the low end of this height is you know half of this or you know 0.4 or whatever a formula of a relationship between here and here as a basic example so we select our family component and we hit edit family we go in there and open up that family for editing and inside of here we've got our upper and our lower. I'm going to go into my family types dialog box and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know, the upper is fine. I'm going to modify that and I'm going to make the upper an instance type so I can change it individually. Okay, every on each one of these that I insert, I want to be able to change it. Or if I don't, I can go type based and then I'll have to duplicate it to make a new copy of it. It's really my choice and I tend to go this way, but other people. So I'm going to first thing change upper to be instance. That's fine. Now I'm going to change lower and in, for lower, I'm going to go over to my formula bar here and I'm going to say equals, you know, and I'm going to actually you can cut and paste. So I'm going to swipe this and say control C, say the lower is control V paste divide by, which is my slash symbol under my question mark on the keyboard, divide by two. Or I could say, you know, asterisk 0 0.5 would give me the same result. Okay, and and if you want to look up a little bit more on formulas, what you do then is you go into your help menu over here in Revit, and inside of there, because you are in the command, it bumps you straight into that topic, and we can scroll down here and we can say um, formula to a parameter using formulas for numeric parameters. Okay, either one of these, and then you can scroll through here and say valid formula syntax so there's how you know you could say the length parameter equals height plus width plus square root of you know height times width etc so these are some sample formulas that you can use and then if you want to know the syntax oh sorry um abbreviations here's our mathematical equation so addition is a plus subtraction multiplication division exponential all of your standard stuff in there okay and there's also boolean operations if then else statements if we go right back to the beginning i believe uh, i'm not gonna i would say just browse around in there there's some uh some more information on actually uh adding in if then and else statements etc so you can just browse around in that help menu so there's some more information we'll put that formula in as our lower um, parameter hit apply and it automatically will change it to be half of that and this is when we can go in and flex the model and say okay well the upper is you know six inches and then just click out anywhere and it'll automatically change this to three and if i hit apply it updates this over here Okay, let me just pan this over a little bit and go back into my family types here. Okay, what if I want it to be, you know, upper times 0.1 or 0.75? Okay, hit apply, changes it to be 75, changes the number here, changes to be 12 inches, hit apply. This will be three quarters of that. Okay, changes to be, you know, and you can start to use brackets, etc times 0.5 again change this back to be four inches hit apply everything happens hit OK we flex the model it all looks good save it push it out to our project overwrite parameter values yes okay there's our guy now we can go into that and we can say okay my upper is four inches changes my lower to match half of that okay and I can see that because it's grayed out and it's right there 
And of course, I can still linearly stretch that because it's a line-based family um, component. And because I changed my upper to be an instance type parameter, now what I can do is using my control button, I can just drag that down and copy it. I can stretch that over and then I can take this guy, change that to be two inches, hit OK, it's a separate item as opposed to if it was a type parameter I would go in here and I would say edit and then duplicate it give it a new name and then I would see my numbers would show up in here my values rather than in here which are instance these are the type parameters inside of your type parameters instance parameters okay so there's a little bit of information on using formulas to uh, further um, append our components and give them flexibility and give us control.